In this video, we are taking the Fly Sky. This is the GT3C super budget oriented RC controller. And we're going to pair it up with the rear wheel drive drift car, giving you the full setup of what it takes to get this one installed, all the tuning options, and everything that you have, so that if you want to use the same controller, you can in your rear wheel drive drift car. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how to's. One of the things I'm really passionate about is helping people get started in rear wheel drive RC drifting. What are the good parts out there? And a lot of people try to use this Flysky GT3 controller. In fact, actually I did. It was one of my first controllers that I ever used as I got started in drifting. I got a brand new one here in the box. We're going to be setting it up with this. This is the Yokomo ready to run drift car. Let's get started by getting it out of the box. In the box you get of course the manual you get an alternate grip here that can change a little bit about how the controller feels in your hand charging cable receiver and then of course the controller itself i do like the like orange burnt orange color that it comes with nice and iconic uh lightweight feels good in the hand but one thing i really like about it though that stands out for the price point is if you look in here it actually comes with a rechargeable lithium ion battery so literally straight out of the box you don't have to worry about it you plug this in right over here on this side port plug it into a usb outlet and you don't have to worry about burning through double a batteries super nice taking a deeper look at the controller itself you do have uh switches here on the sides that you can set up as a trim you can set up a toggle button there on channel three um up here you have your whole interface and we'll go through this here in just a minute you do have an antenna if you're worried about range honestly i don't think i ever left mine up i always left it down in that position power button right here on the side hold it in and the controller comes on um, pretty intuitive menu here as you can scroll through a couple things up here you can actually push down on it to come into the different menus and we're going to get into all of this as we get it set up but the first thing that we need to do here is get that receiver installed in the car and get the different uh, channels plugged into it. This FSGR3E receiver that it comes with, three channel receiver, good news, that's all we need is actually only three channels. First and third channels are going to be used connected to the gyro itself, the steering input, and then the gyro gain. Second channel is going to be the throttle input to the ESC. We're just going to pull all of them out of the uh, receiver that I already have installed in this car and plug them directly in here. I just have this dangling here right now. Uh, as we're going to do the setup, you will clearly need some kind of double-sided adhesive tape in order to mount it down to the plate once you're all done setting it up. Next thing that we're going to do is make sure that the transmitter and the receiver are bound together and then we're going to come over here and flip the power switch <clears throat> nope everything's firing up i have a solid red light here on the receiver yes it looks like from the factory it was already bound if you have any issues with binding it actually comes with a bind plug and the manual that you have will show you how to bind it let's see in general So yes, it looks like we actually have steering and throttle straight away, and right is right, left is left, so that is a good thing. And forward is forward, and reverse is reverse with the throttle. So in essence right now, we are actually already somewhat set up. The other thing I'm going to look at immediately is um, it is set up. This is a Futaba GYD 450 Gyro RevD RSST Servo. We're going to see, yes... So for each direction, the gyro is actually even already working in the proper orientation. It's making it easy on me so far. We are almost out of the box set up and ready to go. One thing you will want to do anytime you change out controllers or receivers is actually recalibrate the controller to the ESC. It doesn't have a lot to do with the controller itself. It depends on the ESC that you actually have in your vehicle. You need to look at how to do that with the manual that you have for your own ESC. On this controller, if your throttle or if your steering are reversed, you're going to just simply press this button once, use the roller to come over here to reverse, and then you can actually enter in again, and you can choose if you want to reverse which channel you want to reverse. In this situation, I'm talking about steering, and then we can actually 
Yep, we can come over with this button and then we can re roll it to normal or reverse. So you can do that for both channel one and channel two if you need to for your exact setup. The next thing that we want to look at is we want to come over here to endpoint. We want to come in and we want to come to channel three. We're going to hit the over button. It's currently set at 100. I want to roll this down to zero and see if it turns the gyro off. So when I hit zero, the light goes off on the gyro. And now over here, the gyro is no longer functioning. So that tells us right there that we have actually turned off the gyro and it confirms that we're actually controlling the gyro gain with uh, the end point on channel three. So I don't want it at 100%. Usually that's not where I would run my stuff. So I'm gonna crank this up to, I don't know, let's call it 70% or something like that as a first try one thing i will note is if you can see it on the camera uh green light on on the gyro depending on the gyro that you use a lot of gyros will actually behave differently if you have the channel 3 set to either positive or negative in this case what you could see as i was tuning this is it would go down to zero but it would not go under zero it would not go negative i come down here to zero the gyro turns off and as I turn this it just continues to not work so this controller does have a limitation in that regards but I have found a couple people that say they found a workaround with the channel reversing so again I'm gonna put it to 75 here you can see the light on the gyro is green if we can reverse this channel it'll actually turn red so we're gonna come back to reverse we're on channel 3 already actually and we're going to reverse it light goes red look at that i'll be danged those folks were right you actually can trigger the red avcs mode on the futaba gyro with this super cheapo controller that's a really really big deal right there that is a great way for you to get a budget controller that can actually do a lot of what you want to do next thing that i'm going to do as i come in here is i'm going to actually work on exponential so not for channel three uh, but for channel 2, the throttle channel, I like it so that at the lower end of the throttle, it kind of numbs the throttle out a little bit, but then still gives me full punch. So that would be kind of a negative curve. I believe it should be negative on the controller, but I don't know. So we're going to give it a bunch of negative to make sure which direction is the right way. Now I'm going to give it throttle. Yeah, look, like nothing's happening. Look, I'm squeezing the throttle a lot here. Maybe you can see it better this way. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then finally, and then full throttle. Oh, it takes forever in there. Okay, so that negative was the direction that I wanted to go. But we're going to back that way back off. Back up here to maybe something like a 50% and try it there. This is obviously a tuning item. This is just where I'm going to start. And depending on, depending on what you want, you will change depending on how you drive you will change that value somewhere different okay we're going to come over make sure that the abs is off really anymore with steering and endpoints and uh, a drift car i leave them all at a hundred um i know that runs me the risk of burning out the servo if i sit here too long with it held way off to the side I, I just don't do that i leave that alone i know that's a limitation i set the end point with the gyro itself depending on your gyro you will have to set the end points appropriately based on its own instruction manual i can't i've done a lot of different gyro installs so if you have a question on a very specific gyro let me know and i can leave you a link down in the video comments like i mentioned earlier is you're going to want to go ahead and affix this down somehow with some double-sided tape and cleanly route the antenna wire away from anything else it does come with an antenna tube i typically don't use those especially in the rc drifting world we're not getting far enough away from us to where it really matters what our range is on our controller so a lot of times i will curl it up and get it right here next to it you don't want to bend it too hard you don't want to crank it but if you can just gently tie it up somewhere make sure that it doesn't get caught in any of the moving parts so if your steering is not centered then you can come in here to trim to channel one 
And then you can actually change the steering trim uh, any direction that you need to in order to get the wheels to point straight. However, I do recommend, like on this Yokomo and many other cars, there's usually a turnbuckle somewhere or some different other kind of uh, mechanical adjustment that you can do in order to make the car go straight without having to adjust steering trim in here. There are some gyros that do not like steering trim and communication of it and then they may actually limit the steering direction one direction versus the other if it does see trim um, especially with a controller like this where you don't really have as much like sub trim and other features that you may have in the fancier radios this is a great way to let's make sure that it's mechanically centered wherever this sits fortunately for me that's pretty easy with this yokomo it has a handy dandy little adjuster right here it all set up let's give it a quick test around my just simple test figure eight here and see how it does Well, hey, that was pretty simple and straightforward now, wasn't it? And so we were able to, in very short, quick order, get this controller set up and working, drifts beautifully with this car. For, I think the last time I looked at this, about $50, 50 to $60, especially make sure if you're buying one that it's the one that has the rechargeable battery in it. Will I use this as my primary controller? I will not. I do think that most people, even if they start with a controller like this, will eventually upgrade to something like a Fataba 4PM, Fly Sky Noble, maybe even the Radio Link RC8X, the new Radio Master MT12. There's so many really, really good, more premium radio videos out there that you know this one is in that $50 price point so if you need to save some money that's great you can get that radio master for the mid like the 150 range and then all those others that I mentioned those are all in that like mid $200 to $300 price point they really are nice to have they really really are but do you absolutely have to have to need them no, you can get away with something like this, especially if you are just really just having fun, like in your garage with some buddies, stuff like that. And you're not trying to make that like all out mass max performance build. This really does do like 90% of what you'll ever want it to do. Now, if you have any other questions about other controllers, gyros, servos, ESCs and motors for drift cars or the chassis themselves, feel free to leave those down in the comments below or check out this Drift Tech playlist that'll be popping up here to your right where I've done a lot of the testing on a lot of those products so that you can see them firsthand. Thank you and goodbye.